First tonight, a controversial prison marriage debate reaches the state house. Right now, according to Rhode Island state law, inmates serving life sentences are considered civilly dead, stripping them of the right to marry. But two convicted killers at the ACI have been fighting to change that, and now lawmakers are considering restoring their marriage rights. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live now with the details that are new at 530. Well, I met with the sponsor of the bill today, and she told me this is about more than just marriage rights and calls the old law outdated. Two convicted murderers are filing a lawsuit that could cause the law to change in Rhode Island. Cody Allen Zab and John Pacheco Jr. are serving life sentences at the ACI, and because of that, Rhode Island general laws classifies them as civilly dead, meaning they can't get married. This is a 1909 law, so archaic based I understand on English common law. The two men are suing the ACI claiming preventing them from being married is unconstitutional. The ACI asked Representative Edith Agello to come up with legislation to allow the convicted killers to get married and in essence that would negate the lawsuit by the murderers. What would you say though to someone who says you know listen this is a murderer someone who got a life sentence why should they have a right to marry or have any of these other civil privileges? Uh, why not? And after she proposed the legislation, she gave it more thought, thinking it wasn't big enough. I've come to believe that the law really has no place on our books. Meaning she wants it to be broader because the law mentions nothing about life sentences with parole. So she asks, what happens if someone's civilly dead but then gets released on parole? It, it says to me we should step back and just take that whole paragraph out of law because it doesn't make sense. The House Judiciary Committee is hearing her bill tonight. Again, though, it's focused solely on the right to marry. She hopes an amendment will be added to make it broader and is hopeful it'll pass this session. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.